morning everybody. Uh, welcome to another a Flowers for Fun with Francine. Uh, it's uh, going to be another really cool workshop that we're going to do today. And um, if you want to look at my business, it's uh, A Floral Affair by Francine. And my website is www.afloralaffair.co.nz. Uh, people have been asking about some of the products. So um, anyway, uh, it's nice to see you all again today. Um, and it's a, kind of a cool day today. I've been having a lot of fun and getting ready for this workshop. Hi David, hi Mary. Um, so it's um, quite a cool workshop and I had Fred yesterday show you the mechanics. A bit worried about Fred actually, if you really want to know the truth. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's a really cool mechanic. And the idea is that with this mechanic you can do whatever you like with it and it's affordable, easy to make and it is a really good basis for a lot of your designing. So hi everyone. So this is what we did yesterday or what Fred did yesterday. He made the base here, this piece here. Now this was going to take a little bit of time and I didn't think you really wanted me to watch me doing a whole lot of gluing but I'm going to do a little bit. Um, and so I've done one side but what I'm going to do is I've, hi everyone, it's fabulous to see you all. Um, so I've got here, these are peppy cones, um, uh, they come in, I've brought them in uh, to New Zealand, um, they're fabulous, they're nice and lightweight, but I've got other options that I'm going to show you once we've done this workshop. So I've got my trusty glue gun going, hope it's going, um, and so and all you do is you just stick it on, you just stick it on, stick it on there, just a bit of glue, line up where you want them, and think about pattern. And you kind of want to keep the rhythm going. It's about rhythm in this design too. Um, and keeping it all to one variety of your base material. So you just stick them on. This is a really good one when you're trying to focus. or well, you don't want to focus too much. Um, and just lay them in. And why I like paper cones too is because they are hollow. Um, I can embed the test tubes in. Uh, driftwood looks amazing. Uh, cork looks amazing. And I've got lots of other options I'm going to show you. So you just just glue all these on you just, and look at the pattern that they're going in. Give them a bit of rhythm. It's like having a musical note, you know, giving it a bit of a beat. Like my trusty glue gun takes a little bit to get it going in the morning. Talking to you nicely. One thing I tell you that you've got me all doing is I've actually had a really good clean up in here. And it's so nice to work in without being in a jumbled mess. And I'm finding all my little treasures that I've forgotten I had. Who's done that before? Oh, I forgot I got that. <laughs> so it is good to see you. Right, just pop your glue on. Now you can do tatami, which is another technique. Um, but I wanted to just to use this mechanic here to show you other options instead of just relying on sticks. Um, but these just give such a lovely rhythm and pattern. I'm just sort of laying them on there. I oh, know this isn't as technical, but it's good. <laughs> oh, it is. It's a great mechanic. It's a really, really good mechanic. Um, and yesterday, I was getting lots of emails about some of the books I was recommending um, to look at. And that's why I put on about the Floral Arts Society of New Zealand's book and about Alison Bradley. She's got all those other books um, that are also available. But don't forget to have a look also at the Flower Ranger that NAFAS put out. That's a really good book as well. A magazine that they put out so you can go to the NAFAS website to get that one. Um, have a look on there. So look at this. Just Isn't this fun? Just sticking. I thought I'd stick around. <laughs> I know. That's what happens when you're on your own too long. <laughs> Start to lose it. <laughs> oh dear. So I'll just keep laying these on. And you can make these as big or as small as you like. If you're going to make really long ones for table centerpieces, you will need to put a few extra um, spikes in on a big long panel and have a few extra spikes spaced out. So um, just keep layering them up. All right, just stick a few of them in there. Now what I might do now is I might just, maybe I'll put in a couple of test tubes. I might use the smaller ones. These are just the small ones. A bit of hot glue, pop a few test tubes in. that one up in there and then through here just where will I stick that one I'm just thinking about the rhythm now and the pattern of where I want to put my placement of flowers and it doesn't matter if you don't use them all in your design but it's good to put them in place when you're doing this part get them all ready so that you have got your water source for your plant material 
but this is a good foam free one and it's a mechanic that you can use over and over again hi everyone oh, <laughs> I'm glad you're glad you're liking it and I'm, I keep sending those messages through and the designs that you're doing out there oh it's just wonderful absolutely wonderful isn't floral art fun it's real fun to do but when this is all over do you know what I'm missing most though I'm really missing my friends at the floral art group going catching up with them all having a cup of tea and doing some flowers and seeing what new designs are around and seeing the competition bench so it's been really good seeing the competitions that you're all setting up um, online with your clubs too it's been wonderful to see to see the designs coming through I've got to keep that going you know because it's all how we learn I'll put some more on here isn't this exciting <laughs> Now you know why I pre-did some. I thought you'd probably get bored to tears. So now I've got this is the small um, small peepee cones. So what I'm doing is I'm using the small ones in between. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm doing the small ones in between, and I'm just filling in the little gaps. And it also gives a little bit more pattern to the design. A few more in through here, so you can make giant circles like this with the same mechanic, cutting discs out. I'll do another workshop next week showing you how to make a different pattern using another shape um, because this is such a good mechanic to reuse and it's a really good one to do as a club workshop because what you can do is if you all use the same material as your base you can put them all around and make big long installations and they look fabulous and it's a really good club club one to do so I'm sticking these little ones on now just giving me a little bit more pattern up and through here I have a little vase of water, a little container of cold water here, so in case I burn my fingertips, I can stick it into the cold water. Right. Now, a bit, I want to do a shout out today to my friend Madhu in Australia. Happy birthday, Madhu. It's her birthday today. So, happy birthday, buddy. Hope you have a wonderful day with your family. And I'll just stick a few more of these on here. Now, you're probably wondering about, too, um, when you're gluing, you always end up with little glue strings that sort of hang down. So I've got quite a nice little cobwebbing happening here, all in through here. So what you do is you get your hair dryer. I know you've got one, David. And you blow, hot blow wave it over, and it'll melt the glue, and it's a really good way of getting rid of the little bits of fibre. So now when you stand that up, you've got quite a cool mechanic. And you've got your test tubes in here and um, it does look really really cool so you've got all that there you've got your tubes for your water source you've got really interesting pattern happening in here but if you have a look right in that centerpiece you can actually see the um, balsa I mean, oh, not the balsa the foam core board I don't want to see that so what I do then is I just get the little short pieces and I just stick them in here along that board just pop them in and this just fills the gap in because we want to hide the mechanic, the base of our design and underneath here. It also adds another texture and another pattern in through this part as well, giving it a little bit of rhythm. I'll pop a few more of these in through the top here. I'll pop these in. looking at all this and make sure you put a couple right on the end here just to hold that down on the end hopefully that won't slip off because the glue gun is quite hot just get another little look oh see this is what I mean look at the rhythm oh we want to give that one a bit of beat so you can even take some of these over if you like to give it a bit of rhythm but I want to keep these ones all going vertical because I've got something else clean so I might put that one in for later put another one down and through there yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I don't like him. Okay, so that's pretty much what you do. So you put all the little pieces in through the top like so. Doesn't that look interesting? It looks like a, a sea urchin. Especially with these ones, with the peepee cones. So once you've done that, I'm going to put this one to the side. And I'm going to bring this one over. This is one I did earlier. 
this is another one so if you see this one here I've done by doing the wires stub wires and I've bound it with the um, paper coat wire on there this one I've just used the aluminium rod um, and it just it's nice and strong so they're both really strong um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the little test tubes up that I've got here fill the test tubes up lots of test tubes in here I might put a couple more tubes in so you can just embed these. See, these are hollow. You can just embed them where you would like them to go. So I'll pop a couple of these ones in. Pop a few of those in through there. Pop more. And so I just had a bit of a play with pattern, a bit of rhythm. Um, pop that one up in through there. I may want it back just a little bit lower, but that'll be fine. Again, I'll fill those up. I'm just going to turn the glue gun off just for the moment. There we go. So I filled my test tubes up. Now we want to... Oh, well, I'm glad. Oh, that's good. Loving this, Francie. It is a really cool mechanic um, because there's just so much. You can you imagine big, long panels. I mean, you know, could do, if that was a bit lower than the same height, we could have some up, some down. Really cool installation. Um, so then what we've got there, now we're going to look at some of the plant material. So I just had a wander around the garden. Uh, first of all, I found it needed a bit of rhythm to, it's going to go this way. I thought that looked kind of cool on there like this. So just lay that on there, tuck it in, see it'll hold, so quite an interesting mechanic, if I turn that around you can see that little bit of rhythm created. So we're going to do an asymmetrical design, it's going to have the flowers coming over this way. So then I thought what else have I got in the garden? Um, so I said about getting some elongated leaves, and I look like this, and I've really got to leave these poor plants alone, honestly. I'm just going to cut those down. And I'm going to pop one into the tube in there. Use that test tube. I've got to find where I put it. Take one over that way. And take another one down in through there. I might put it in that one there. Take them over. Like so. Just that little bit of line taking my eye through. And then I wanted to look at, okay, what flowers have I got? Well, I haven't got a lot in the garden at the moment. It's coming. Um, so normally I would really like to use tulips or alfins or calla lilies, um, but again I've still got a few of these that are still out in the garden, the racema, so I'm going to put some of these in through here, but I'm going to group them together to make it look a bit more than what I've actually got, make it a bit, a bit more volumetric. Take that line in through there, that little bit of colour coming through, I might take another one in through there, just take my eye along, I really like the way that's moving at the moment, it's all about the movement, cut these ones just a little bit shorter, maybe pop a couple in through there, do I like that, no, if you don't like it, don't worry, take it out, oh I haven't filled that test tube up, that's not very good of me is it, oh and I can see it, I don't want to see it either, if my glue gun's got enough of the zhuzh, zhuzh in it, oh it's still got a bit of zhuzh, hide the test tube. I don't want to see test tubes. It's all about just being concealed. That's hiding it. I'll turn that around. I'm not quite sure about those ones. Add in through there. Um, I did go and spoil myself yesterday. I had to go and get a few bits and pieces so I, these are out of my garden. This is a little Alstroemeria. It's rather cool, just a little one that's coming through. It's a little dwarf one. So I wanted a bit of green, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in through here. Another one that's just starting to come through. Put that one in that tube there. Turn that around so you can see. Just that little bit coming through. Um, and then I'm going to pop a little bit of this colour in through here with these um, chrysanthemums yeah. yep, talking away to myself here take your eye back just a little bit so I'll put that one right down low I'll turn that around so you can see now where I'm at I was going to have this on the turntable I thought it was easier like this so I've got that form there but I need to make it bring unity to it so that it doesn't look like it's just that part so I'm going to put a little bud down this end 
if you pop that one, I might put that one in there. There's a bit of tube in there. Not sure about that one. Just to take my eye through, bring that one to the front. That one there. Rather light the look of that. Actually, I think I might bring that down. Ah, uh, like that. Put a ribbon. Okay. And I've got one more leaf, so I may just put this here so it comes back. Put that one in that tube. This one runs through the air like that. Just to take my eye back over so it's sort of coming in together. Maybe a little bit more. I think I've got one more here. I'll put that in there, keep that one company. I've got to keep them company. Give it a friend. There you go. And I'm happier with that. It's a very simplistic design. What was that? Oh, morning. How are you? Oh no, it's good to see you. So what I'm going to do now is um, there's other options you can put in um, just any leaves that you've got really, but I do like the elongated when I'm working this way. So I rather like that look. I'm not sure about that poor little test tube that's sitting up there. I can just see them. I've got a little flower in that one just to link it. There, that's better. Um, and then I've got some lovely line material in through that design. So I thought I'd pre-do another one and show you other options of different ones that I've done. So I'll put this one to the side for now. Put that over there. Oh, it's so nice having bench space. Um, so other options. This one here, using bark, um, and just using more of a strong volumetric form here. Um, so being at home Nita, uh, so actually using more, these are the um, Oriental Lilies and I've got a couple of the um, Alocasia Jade Millie um, leaves in here just to take my eye through with again a really strong rhythm uh, and so this is actually using the Sula Bark which I have um, and I've given it just a bit of a varnish that it's lifted it so it wasn't so dull and I've also just lightly tinted the base as well so that's showing another idea. Um, other ideas that I've done is I've used this one over here. Gosh, I've got quite a little happening here. Um, other things that I've used which look really good are the loofah. Using loofah. These are fabulous because you can hot glue them all on. And then the best part about these, if, if you get a right size test tube, let's get one of these ones, you can actually embed your test tubes into them and you've actually got another really neat texture. So using loofah, these are the bleached ones um, that we use in the bathroom, <laughs> you know what I mean? I always think about things a lot different. Um, uh, then you've got these ones which are fabulous too. These ones are also, these are unbleached. And they've got a really neat colour to them. I really like them unbleached. And again, you can just embed test tubes into these. Like so. And then hot glue all them on to a big frame. And then just have these doing a bit of rhythm through them. And they look kind of magic as well. So you've got that option. So using your loofahs and putting them all in a row. Uh, anything that you can find. You can use your cane. You can use, um, I've got the peeled sula here. You can use the peeled bleach sula and have that all in different patterns and rhythms that you can, can create. Uh, autumn leaves can look really gorgeous. So pretty much with the mechanic that Fred showed you yesterday, you can do anything with it. Just glue it on and use that as a basis to your mechanic. Putting in a few tubes, a few flowers, that's cost effective and um, it's really quite impacting too. So I hope you enjoyed that little workshop today. Uh, it was good that Fred showed you how to make the mechanic yesterday because I think um, having that being shown, you can take your time looking at it and um, redo it a couple of times, making them all different shapes and sizes. So I hope you enjoyed that today. So this is Francine. Have a look at my Facebook page um, and my website if you wanted to know any more about the products that I've got. And I will see you all again. Now I think Fred's back tomorrow. I wasn't going to do one every day this week, but Fred really needs to show you the mechanic for the special thing that we're doing on Friday. So... Um, I will see you again tomorrow uh, with that workshop. I may not have a certain time. I might just post it up uh, just when I feel like doing it. So have a wonderful day, everybody. 
take care i hope you're all okay out there and uh, just keep those messages coming and best of all keep those designs coming because when this is all over you're going to go back to floral art and you're just going to say look what i'm doing i've got some new ideas and let's just share now i also had a question about the worksheets um i do not mind you sharing you can take them to club just as long as you say where it came from that i would appreciate that but share them uh, make workshops with them as a club group and uh, have fun. Okay, everybody. So I'll see you again later. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.